Hey guys, it's Misty with Mystic GG. Today we're going to be doing a really pretty pink Dutch pour with some browns and some different colored pinks. And here's the colors that we're using today. And my ratios as far as my medium is two ounces Floetrol, one ounce paint, and a half ounce water. So that's my mixture for every one of the colors, including the base color. And my base color is Pearlescence by Creative Inspirations. So it's like a nice pearl white. So that is what we are um, using as our base color today, along with these colors shown. So I will let you watch me get to it. And I appreciate everybody for stopping by. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free and it helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. So here I am just pushing the color, the base color into the colors just a little bit. I'm not fully pushing it over like a normal Dutch pour because I don't want to um, mute out the colors. I want them to stay vibrant. So I'm just pushing them in just enough to where I can make a, a small blowout compared to like a big wide blowout like it 
object is currently without pushing the color in. So that's why I do that. It's not to blow the color, the base over the colors, it's just to make the, the lines thinner to blow it out easier. So that's what I'm doing right here. And you want to make sure you torch the air bubbles out before you blow out so that when the dry painting is curing and drying, those little bubbles don't come up through your painting and make little white holes like dots in your painting when it's drying. Also, you'll notice that I use two different blow dryers, one to blow it out and one to one to blow out the base color and then one to blow the design out. I feel that I can control it a lot better with my smaller mini, mini blow dryer. Um, it's easier to control the flow of the paint and how far it goes and it doesn't splatter everywhere. And it just is amazing. Even though it doesn't have a cool setting, it doesn't burn my paint. It's actually perfect. It, just perfectly blows it out. So see how small and like in control I am of the blow dryer? That's what I love about the small blow dryer and it's a lot easier to hold. <laughs> so if you don't have a small blow dryer, I recommend trying it out. Um, Tammy Anderson on her page has a small blow dryer that she uses and she has a link to hers. I just got mine on Amazon. You just literally search on Amazon um, mini blow dryer and they'll pop up everywhere or travel blow dryer and the wattage i believe of this one is like 1200 instead of 1875 so it's not as strong as most a lot of the blow dryers but it works perfectly and this is on low that i'm blowing so it has a higher setting but the, the little ones are amazing you should definitely try one out if you're having problems with the dutch pour get yourself a little blow dryer they are amazing They'll do the trick. Also, um, if you, the goal is to not go over the paint more than once with the blow dryer. If you need to keep blowing over something, use your mouth or a straw or the little tiny um, blow thing that I'm going to be using here in a minute. Those make it, because if you go over the blow dryer more than once with the, over the colors with the blow dryer more than once, it makes, starts turning it into mud because it's mixing it so much every time you blow over it. So it's better to use something smaller so it doesn't make it muddy. So whether it's your mouth, a straw, my little mini blower, that thing's amazing. You should get yourself one. If you don't have one, you're missing out. Um, but don't keep going over it with the blow dryer. That's where you're gonna make it mud and you're gonna regret the outcome. So just only once over with the blow dryer and then do the rest with your mouth or a tool. But that's a good key to keep in mind when you're doing Dutch pours.
Okay, guys, we are done. I am so happy with the way this turned out. The colors are just amazing. Like, I am I was worried about using so many colors, because I always do, but it turned out phenomenal. Like, check out the cells, the lacing, the colors. The pearl background is just stunning. Like, I really fell in love with this one. Um, but if you ever have any questions or need any help, please message me below or email me more than happy to help. Um, I will leave a link to my mini in the description below. And if, if I can help in any way, let me know. Please don't forget to like and share this video if you loved it. Um, like it, subscribe to my channel. It is free. And if you, if I can be of any assistance, please let me know. Also, um, don't forget to have a great day and take yourself out of your comfort zone. Try out different things. Try to try to make try to try different things. It's amazing and it's fun and you'll you'll really surprise yourself. I hope you all have a fabulous day and thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.